Hi uh, guys, welcome to Classic Sitcoms Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, before we get started, I want to ask you to please subscribe and please share these out. Thank you. I do have some bad news today. Um, I just heard on the TV uh, that Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer has passed away. Yes, it's very sad. Uh, seems the famed reindeer was flying over Barcelona. Uh when he got hit by a flock of geese and a 747. And reports are saying that the uh, reindeer in Spain was hit mainly by the plane. Thank you. Today's video is on eight things you probably didn't know about the great Harry, uh, Harry Morgan from Dragnet and MASH. Stay look. Okay. Now that I told you a really bad joke, let's get into some serious stuff here. Uh, he went through a lot of name changes. Uh, he was born Harry Bratsburg in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, when he was a student, his surname was incorrectly logged as Bratsburg, but the good-natured Morgan just went along with it. He was even billed as Harry, Bratz, or Harry Bratsburg on stage in New York. When he made his film debut as Mouthy in the 1942 war flick The Shores of Tripoli, he used the credit Henry Morgan. However, there was a popular humorist with that name. Uh, the funny man Henry Morgan was frequent panelist on uh, I've Got a Secret. Uh, so he at last settled on Harry Morgan. He was on Dragnet long before he was on Dragnet. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, Morgan jumped aboard the 67 Dragnet revival, playing Officer Bill Gannon alongside Jack Webb's Joe Friday. Uh, Morgan was no stranger to fiction world of Joe Friday. Way back in 1950, he had voiced a hotel clerk in the episode of Dragnet radio program in The Big Boys. <clears throat> he had a long history of working with Jack Webb. Uh, Morgan had a long working relationship and friendship with Jack Webb. He appeared alongside Webb in noir movies such as Dark City and Appointment with Danger. <clears throat> Sorry. Following Dragnet, Morgan worked on more web TV shows, The DA and Heck Ramsey. He played the same character de decades later alongside Tom Hanks. In 87, five years following the death of Jack Webb, Tom Hanks and Dan Aykroyd started a big screen adaptation of Dragnet. Aykroyd, hot off the uh, Ghostbusters and Spies Like Us, again wrote and headlined the comedy. Yes, this Dragnet was a comedy. Uh, Morgan reprised his role as Bill Gannon, who is now running the show as captain, in a way the role combined his MASH and Dragnet personas. He portrayed his Dragnet character on The Simpsons. In 1995, Morgan once again slipped into the role of Bill Gannon on a season 7 episode of The Simpsons, Mother Simpson. This time, Gannon was an FBI agent. He moved up. Uh, he starred in two sitcom spinoffs. Uh, he landed his first big breakout television role on a sitcom, December Bride, from 54-59, playing the typical neighbor character named Pete Porter. Pete constantly complained about his unseen wife, Gladys. Well, she was unseen until the couple got a spinoff series in 60, Pete and Gladys. Carol Williams uh, slipped into the role of Gladys and garnered an Emmy nomination for Best Lead Actress. And of course, Morgan earned another spinoff following the finale of M.A.S.H., when he headlined after MASH, which followed Potter back to the home of Hannibal, Missouri. <clears throat> the photo on uh, Colonel Potter's desk in MASH was his actual wife. Following McLean Stevenson's departure from MASH and the death of Henry Blake, Sherman Potter assumes command of the 407 7th at the start of season four. In the episode Change of Command, Radar helps Potter decorate his office. Potter puts a portrait of Mildred on his desk to the series, Potter speaks lovingly to this picture. It's actually a photograph of his wife, Eileen Detchcon. Two were married for 45 years until her death in 85. His grand grandson drew the horse behind Potter's desk. That Mildred portrait was not only the, the only piece of artwork in Potter's office with personal meaning. Uh, images of a horse covered the wall behind the desk, and you might notice a child's drawing of a horse standing behind, uh, next to a tree. That was made by his grandson, Jeremy Morgan. I don't know if this video will be very popular uh, with viewers, but I think uh, he is a very fascinating man. 
and I found these facts to be very fascinating. I don't think I knew hardly any of them. Well, I knew about the aftermath, and, uh, but that's about it, really. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you'll share it out with your friends that liked MASH or Dragnet. Uh, sorry for the joke at the beginning. I just I stole it off. Whose line is it anyway, if you want to know? Uh, but sometimes I just got to throw crazy stuff out there. Uh, have a great day. Don't forget about the Beverly Hillbilly Spikes and Trivia. Um, head on over there and check that out if you would. Have a great day. God bless, and I'll be praying for you.